I'm going to read this book called O is for Old Dominion, a Virginia alphabet. It is written by Pamela Duncan Edwards and illustrated by Troy Howell. And I'm not going to read all of this big explanation. I'm just going to read the story, but I'm sure you could find this book and then you could read all the extra information on your own. A is for Arlington, where the brave and the best in old plantation grounds forever lie at rest. B is for Booker T. Washington, who had a dream to fulfill that every African American should study and learn a skill. C is for our capital, a warm enchanting place, Virginians cherish Richmond for her elegance and grace. D is for the dogwood tree that welcomes springtime sun with bridal flowers of white or pink that beckon summer come. E is for the Emancipation Oak, where they read out Lincoln's law, saying slaves and their descendants could walk through freedom's door. F is for the four port cities that lie on Hampton Roads, where the U.S. Atlantic Fleet is housed and cargo ships unload. G is for George Washington, a leader very smart. He was one of those who told King George it's time for us to part. H is for Patrick Henry who cried, we should begin demanding what is rightly ours, freedom we must win. I is for an island where wild ponies roam. Assateague is the place where they make their home. J is for Jamestown where colonists fearless to the core landed in three sailing ships upon Virginia's shore. K is for King's Dominion with fantastic rides galore. Up you whoosh, down you swoosh, and still you beg for more. L is for Luray Caverns, a fairyland underground, where stalagmites and stalactites in weird shapes are found. M is for a house that is called Monticello, Built by Thomas Jefferson, a most inventive fellow. N is for natural resources like rich soil, rain, and good air. Virginia is lucky to have these as well as a climate that's fair. O is for the Old Dominion, a name given us by royalty. For during England's Civil War, Virginia showed her loyalty. P is for the Pentagon, a building that's five-sided, where plans to do with our brave troops daily get decided. Q is for the queen on her English throne, who shared her nickname by which she was known. R is for John Rolfe, who made Pocahontas his wife. She changed her name to Rebecca and enjoyed colonial life. S is for Shenandoah, an Indian name. Shenandoah or Shenandoah, they mean the same. T is for Tidewater, where bay and ocean both flow, along a coast that the colonists spied long ago. U is for the university that Mr. Jefferson prized, a first-class seat of learning where dreams are realized. V is for Virginia Beach, where people go for fun. It's where they swim and sail their boats and picnic in the sun. W is for Williamsburg, a colonial place where you might spy women in long gowns and lace, where blacksmiths make horseshoes and clockmakers mend clocks, where if you're naughty, you're popped in the town stocks. X is for examples of folk from our great state. Inventors, singers, movie stars, as well as presidents, eight. Y is for Yorktown, a battle site that witnessed the revolution's final fight. Z is for Zachary Taylor, known as Old Rough and Ready. He was our 12th president and was brave and was steady.